Hi guys, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to another video of uh, stem cells and hair loss. Uh, this is actually a very important video uh, because it has been years in the making. I'm going to be demonstrating uh, several clinical cases, basically case studies, where we had done stem cells and uh, we were following the patients almost anywhere from 18 to 23 months, about almost two years after we did the stem cell injections and we want to demonstrate the longevity of the stem cell procedure. So when we started out doing stem cells back in 2017, um, there was really nobody else in the country that was doing stem cells. Uh, a lot of the stem cells were being used uh, for a lot of knee injections uh, and uh, and basically there was really nobody to really turn to. And the reason why we want to do stem cells as opposed to regular PRP was because, you know, not everybody sees the effects of PRP. So we want to see if we could add something to the PRPs where we could increase the potency of the PRP. So we started in 2017 and we just didn't know. I mean, is the stem cell gonna last six months or a year? Uh, and you know, we slowly figured out you know, after basically doing it for a year that the stem cell does kind of result having give you kind of good result in about a year. But we really didn't have much more data beyond that. And nobody honestly around the country has any data beyond a year. So this is the first video being published with multiple case studies showing where the results could last anywhere between 18 months to almost two years. So, and these are all of our patients done in our clinic, showed with permission. And again, you have to realize that stem cell is not FDA approved, but we do use FDA protocols basically to inject it. We do not inject the stem cells IV. It is just mainly injected uh, in the scalp and always mixed, and pretty much always mixed with PRP. So I'm going to go through some of these clinical cases and we talk about them. So this is one of our patients uh, who, uh, here we go. So he came in initially basically looking like this. Uh, this is his, uh, you know, back in around 2018. Uh, we did the stem cell mainly in the front and we also uh, did the stem cell bits in his crown area right here. Uh, again, he came back, we kept seeing him routinely and he came back almost this is 20 months later. He came back for his follow-up stem cell injection and this is how his crown looked 20 months later. So this is how he looked before, this is how he looked after, and again, this is how his front looked before, and this is 20 months later, how his front looked after. You could see that not all the results went away. I mean, so, you know, you would think that he would go back to zero, he would be basically back where he was before, but actually if you see, you know, 20 months later, he actually even looks better. So, you know, so based on his case, we could tell you that the effects and the effects of stem cells definitely last, in his case, about 20 months because he's definitely still better where he was initially. And also in his crown area, I mean, that's where he was before. I mean, he's, yes, he did lose some hair. He definitely got better, but he lost hair, but he's definitely not back where he was before. And again, and these are, there are a lot of photos in between, and I do have other their videos basically they could watch in, where they do look really good around the year mark. So what happens is that they get better and the results last really good for about a year to a year and a half, but the, the results starts to diminish, like around the 18 to 20 marks, 20 months mark. So, so that was one case. I have another patient of mine, he actually flies in from Hawaii. Uh, so we did him here, basically we focused on the frontal hairline and this is him 20 months later. He's still looking really good, going very strong 20 months later. He's not on any topical, he's not on any oral. Again, we focused, we did a stem cells in the front and this is him 20 months later, he's still looking very good. We're gonna go to case study uh, number three. This is a patient of ours. Uh, uh, we're again, mainly focused on the frontal hairline. Uh, and this is him about 20 months later. He's still looking pretty good in the front. A lot of those miniaturized hair uh, still standing up pretty well uh, 20 months after we did the original stem cell injection. Uh, here is another patient of mine. She's about 20 months later as well. 
Uh, now, I have to say, in this photo here, she had not dyed her hair, and the afterwards she did dye her hair, but I don't think it makes much of a difference because of the fact that, look, you can see the scalp clearly, uh, and we really focus in the front, and this is her about 20 months later. Yeah, she's probably thinned out a little bit right here, about 20 months, and that's kind of expected, but a lot of the front is still quite thick, still quite thick. So I'm, I'm very happy for her. Uh, the results lasted quite a bit in her. Uh, our other patient is uh, this one. He came in, um, it's actually, so he came in and we only did stem cells in the mid frontal scalp. I do have his, uh, another video just dedicated to him. Mid frontal scalp basically right here. Um, and we did not touch his crown. Uh, so he actually came back 23 months later, actually almost two years. And this is how he looked actually two years later. So you see that mid frontal scalp is still, the hair is still there. Uh, he actually came in for a second procedure in the crown area. Um, but let's look at him again one more time. Again, so the mid frontal scalp before injections, 23 months later, mid frontal scalp after injections. Um, again, when we started out in 2017, Nobody even knew if the stem cell PRP protocol is actually going to work uh, and we started doing it and it really benefited a lot of our patients uh, and so here there were four case examples of my patients where we did the stem cells and the results lasting anywhere from like 20 to, three, 20 to 23 months. Uh, obviously you're going to have some uh, miniaturization going on towards the end and the results starts to diminish so we always say that your optimal result you know you're gonna once we do the injection you know we have the patients come back in four months and we take a look at it and patients see great results and the results typically last about a year and some patients come back after every year and do the injections but some a lot of patients don't and they do wait that 18 to 24 months when the effect of stem cells is going away and the, and the hair starts to miniaturize again to do another round of injections. So, uh, so this is a, a groundbreaking video and I'm very happy to really share this with you guys uh, because it's really showing some of the long-term efficacy of stem cells in some of our patients that we're doing. And it gives me honestly joy and pleasure to see that patients grow hair back with this protocol and they gain more confidence uh, and you know they don't have to be constantly thinking about the hair and their hair loss every second and it gives them a relief you know I mean they, they get relieved for about 18 to 24 months you know that the hair is doing well and then when they're talking to their clients um, that you know people are not focusing on the hair and they're focusing on the person individual you know so I hope this video helps everyone out there. If there's any questions, please give us a call uh, or just visit our website. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, this is again Dr. Benham from Dermatology Restoration in Los Angeles, California. Have a nice day.